personality, the the outfits, and I mean, do you instantly just become into this into this shoe? I mean, it's a process. I feel like you know we have fittings, we have makeup tests. You know, you go through. Um, you go through the the steps that are part of um, returning to that that uh, <laughs> physicality and that that world. Um, but it's so familiar to be back with everybody and to work to. But it's so familiar to be back. With everybody and to work thing, but it's so familiar to be back with everybody and to work thing, but it's so familiar to be back with everybody and to work thing. But it's so familiar to be back with everybody and to work thing. But it's so familiar to be back with everybody and to work together so easily and we have so much fun that uh, I do feel like it's kind of like, yeah, it happens pretty quickly. Sir. When? With this one or? Yeah. With this film, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't even think it was really a question for us. You know, we, we were excited to hear that they were going to make a third one and uh, we were all attached to it. I mean, we didn't, we couldn't have we couldn't have said no if we, if we wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, Simon Pegg's on screenwriting duties. Did you have to be really kind of nice to him to make sure you got some good lines? He didn't kill you off? Well, he wrote all the best scenes for himself, obviously, because yeah. he spent so much time with the lovely Sophia. But, um, he was great. I mean, he's a great guy and uh, brings so much of his heart and his humor to his work. And uh, he was really available to all of us and uh, supportive. Even when he wasn't shooting as an actor, he was on set for us. And, mm -hmm a real resource if we had any questions or concerns. Yes, when, with this one or? Yeah, with this film, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't even think it was really a question for us. You know, we, we were excited to hear that they were going to make a third one and uh, we were all attached to it. I mean, we didn't, we couldn't have we couldn't have said no if we, if we wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Simon Pegg's on screenwriting duties. Did you have to be really kind of nice to him to make sure you got some good lines? He didn't kill you off? Well, he wrote all the best scenes for himself, obviously, because yeah. he spent so much time with the lovely Sophia. But, um, he was great. I mean, he's a great guy and uh, brings so much of his heart and his humor to his work. And uh, he was really available to all of us and uh, supportive. Even when he wasn't shooting as an actor, he was on set for us and mm -hmm. a real resource if we had any questions or concerns. And yeah, insofar as I think, you know, Justin is many things, but he's a, uh, he's a great, great leader. And that's really what we needed. And that's what we've had since the beginning is someone who's shepherded the process. I think what's been nice about having Justin aboard for the third is that there's um, 
kind of a different space and relationship between the director and the cast. And I think in this one, it's, it's almost as if the, the parents left for the weekend and the, the kids <laughs> threw the, a big party. Uh, and uh, we had a lot of fun and to have Simon, one of us, in a, as Zach has said, in a creative position was was great. He knows us. He knows what our strengths are, and and um, and uh, we had a, a lot of fun. I mean, where society is right now, it's interesting. I mean, it remains a summer blockbuster popcorn adventure film, but I think the history of Star Trek and its fiftieth anniversary has always been reflective back to audiences in a way that. Um, that invites them into a kind of debate or discourse about where they are, right, socially. And that's certainly true of this one. You know, we are really fractured and it's kind of shocking how quickly it's happened and how dramatically, you know, different, um, different Polit political area, like different different countries, different places are fractured in the same way, and the same argument of people who are interested in uh, a progressive movement towards inclusion and and, and uh, acceptance, and uh, and people that are really locked down in an old way of thinking and uh, nationalistic xenophobia. People who are interested in uh, a progressive movement towards inclusion and and, and uh, acceptance and uh, and people that are really locked down in an old way of thinking and uh, nationalistic xenophobic. Uh, fear-driven way and you know I think there is only one way to go there's only one way to evolve as human beings and um, and hopefully you know that's the way we'll go and that's the certainly the way that this this franchise explores and, and what it represents. And, uh, nationalistic, xenophobic, uh, fear-driven way. And, you know, I think there is only one way to go. There's only one way to evolve as human beings and, um, and hopefully, you know, that's the way we'll go and that's the, certainly the way that this this franchise explores and, and what it represents. Off. <laughs> well, he wrote all the best scenes for himself, obviously, because yeah. he spent so much time <laughs> the lovely Sophia. <laughs> He was great. I mean, he's a great guy and uh, brings so much of his heart and his humor to his work. And uh, he was really a 